always making a mess. And who has to clean it? Me. Always the same. Janik, is that you? Jordi! Damn you! Ah! <laughs> hey folks, it's Jordi here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Copycat Friday, a weekly series where we recreate an effect or film technique. And today is a little bit different though as we're having a look at the game Portal. Not really a big trend anymore, but it's still awesome to create that Portal effect. And I want to thank the folks over at Twitter for this idea. Someone actually suggested the portal effects from Eminem's clip and that brought us to jumping through a portal idea. So we just got back from the store guys and got ourselves some green paper and we're going to use this right here as the portal. So what we have to do right now is cut out the shape of a portal. And Janik, catch! Got the green screen! Okay. Your portal doesn't have to be super precise, just as long as you have somehow an ellipse shape laying here. So once you got that, we can now look at the camera work. So we have just built a little set right here, guys, with these palettes to have some more texture in the background and also to give a story to Janik finding a portal underneath one of these palettes. And we actually introduced that portal by uh, having some lights underneath these uh, palettes. We're actually using the specular light for that. Uh, we've, we've wrapped some filters around it so that we have a different color. And the great thing about these lights is that you can shape them any way you want. So that way we can kind of wrap them underneath these pallets. And they also have these extension cables. So over there I've got a controller, like this one right here, which has a dimmer knob on it. And that way I can kind of control the light, have it flicker a little bit on Janik's face. So once Janik finds out about a portal, we're going to cut to a different angle. And in that shot we want to have this green paper laying here on the floor like that. Now very important is that you're going to light this green paper with a daylight balanced light as well because if you're going to mix like different colors in here like blue or tungsten lighting into this green it's going to be really hard to key that out in post-production. The only thing we needed was Janik jumping into the portal and an empty shot both filmed from the same tripod. After that we moved to the office upstairs where the second portal sits on the ceiling. Here your shots can be exactly the same. You have your actor fall from a small height and an empty shot. Next up we filmed the shots that you would see through those portals. For this we clamped a camera to the ceiling and somehow tried to match the same angle. But you want to do that for both of the shots. It's important that these shots are filmed static and not handheld. So we got three shots for every scene. Let's bring them into Premiere Pro. But before we do so I'd like to thank Rocketstock for their support today. They've come out with another exciting new pack called Collider, which is a collection of more than 150 particle effects in different styles like powder explosions, sparks, dusts and more. To check it out, make sure to hit the first link in the description below. The clip of your actor jumping into the portal goes on the second track in your timeline. You can already apply an ultra key effect to it to remove the green. Then the clip of the other room that was filmed from the ceiling goes on track number one, which will reveal itself through that hole. You probably want to reposition and scale that layer to match it. Now we'll create that portal effect, but to make it easy for you guys who've already done it for you, there's a direct download link to it in the description below. And that will give you a simple clip of a portal effect. Drag that clip on top of your edit. With that selected, head over to the opacity blend modes and choose screen. Then you want to position that portal to make it fit with your hole. And you can use the basic 3D effect together with the normal position, scale and rotation properties to do that. Next up you want to search for a point where your actor floats in the air. Here you want to add a cut. Right click on the right part and choose frame hold. On this clip you want to mask out the entire person but do this precisely. This clip then goes to track 4 so that we can put the empty shot of the scene underneath. On this empty shot you also want to apply the ultra key effect to remove the green. Back to Janik, we're going to animate his fall, but in order to do that we first need to nest him. Then on this nested sequence we can apply the transform effect from which we can animate the position and let him fall through the portal. 
but you might need to go back and forward a couple of times to find the right speed and get the physics right. Lastly, disable composition shutter angle and set one of your own to get a natural motion blur. A part of the portal and foreground needs to be in front of Janik, so what I'll do is duplicate the empty shot and the portal effect above Janik. Then draw a mask on the foreground and make sure to go around the inner circle. Then also do that same thing with the portal effect. <laughs> Damn you, Johnny! And that's all there is to it. Coming out of the portal works exactly the same. So, happy editing, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Rocket Stock, for the support again. And like always, stay creative. Edetic, catch! Got it. <laughs> I'm a little bit sick, guys, so I have a little bit trouble to be happy. <coughs>